Welcome to Chat and Dish. I'm Casey Coretti here in Florida. It just happens to be citrus season. Oh my goodness, right now these beautiful little tree ripened orbs of liquid sunshine are being shipped all over the United States. So I thought it the perfect opportunity to share with you my all time favorite breakfast dish orange ricotta pancakes with homemade orange syrup. Oh, what a way to start the day! We're going to work on our syrup first, and for that, you need one cup fresh orange juice one cup water, one cup sugar, and the zest from one orange. That's it. Ingredients for the pancakes are really quite simple. We're going to need a cup and a half of all-purpose flour, a quarter cup of white cornmeal, two eggs, one half teaspoon each of salt, baking powder, and baking soda, two tablespoons of sugar, one half cup of ricotta, three quarters of a cup of fresh orange juice, one cup of buttermilk, and just a smidge of oil for our saute pan for the pancakes. That's it. Let's get the syrup ingredients over to the stove top. In a saucepan, combine your water, orange juice, sugar, and orange zest. Bring this up to a simmer over medium heat. Simmer until your syrup is reduced by half. That's going to be about 20 minutes. Set your syrup aside to cool. All right, while the syrup is cooling, let's go ahead and work on our pancakes. Dry ingredients, we've got a cup and a half of flour, a quarter cup of white uh, cornmeal that we're going to use, two tablespoons of sugar, and one half teaspoon each of salt, baking powder, and baking soda. You're just going to combine all of those and then mix them together with a whisk, then set aside. Okay, now the wet ingredients. First of all, we're going to separate our eggs. For the wet ingredients, we're only going to use the yolks right at first. So let's separate them and get the yolks into a nice big bowl. All right, the egg whites go into a mixing bowl. We're going to beat those up in a couple of minutes. Okay, now we mix in our buttermilk. And remember, if you don't have buttermilk, take one cup of regular milk and one tablespoon of lemon juice. Let it sit on the counter for five minutes and you've got buttermilk. Now, here's our ricotta. Remember, that's a half a cup. And then three quarters of a cup of orange juice and we're going to mix these together well. Beat your egg whites until you have nice stiff peaks. Pour your wet ingredients into your dry and then mix these together gently. Stir until just mixed together. As with all pancakes, little bitty lumps don't matter. Gently fold in half of your egg whites. This is going to make them nice and fluffy. Now it's time for the other half. Just gently fold in. It's kind of an over-under movement. Okay, preheat the griddle to medium-high and let's get going. Season your griddle pan with a little bit of cooking oil. You want your griddle hot enough so that water just bounces around when you drop a little bit on. Ladle about a quarter cup of your batter onto the griddle. When those air bubbles in the pancakes pop, it's time to flip. Orange ricotta pancakes with orange syrup. Ooh, I am in Florida sunshine heaven. Now speak bye, because I love these guys. Mm, cannot wait. Mm. Oh, this is such an incredible treat. I'm thinking breakfast for dinner even. Mm. I admit it, I'm totally into pancakes these days. So. I'm going to send you over to Disgustingly Good for, what else? Lemon pancakes. We're celebrating Florida citrus this month. Hey, hey, lemon pancakes, disgustingly good. Oh yes, we can all do with one more pancake recipe, right? Okay, Spa Betty for blueberry lemon pancakes. The combination of blueberries and lemons, absolutely phenomenal. Don't miss out, Spa Betty, blueberry lemon pancakes. As always, thank you for visiting. Until next time, I'm going to miss you. And in the meantime, I do hope you treat yourself to orange ricotta pancakes with homemade orange syrup. Cheers!